What's going on everybody and welcome to the top 5 games we are looking forward to seeing this year from E3 2016. Without further ado, let's get right into it and let us know what your top 5 things you're looking forward to seeing is down below in the comments. Kicking us off at the number 5 spot, we have The Last Guardian, which is a new action-adventure style game coming out soon on the PlayStation 4. It is actually being designed and worked on by Fumito Ueda, who actually worked on Eco and Shadow of the Colossus, two very highly regarded games on the PlayStation 2, which have been rated very well and have a die-hard fanbase. Continuing here at the number 4 spot, we have No Man's Sky, which is an adventure survival style game developed by the indie studio Hello Games, which is actually a very open world, very innovative game, something we haven't really seen before, and it's very interesting, definitely got put on the radar after being spotted by some people last year at E3, we are definitely interested to see what developments we will see this year. Following up at the number 3 spot, we have Titanfall 2, which is another upcoming FPS by Respawn Entertainment. This is a sequel to the original Titanfall, which was loved by a lot of Call of Duty YouTubers, but unfortunately, it didn't gain enough traction to succeed on this website. It just didn't. That's the way it is. I don't know why it happened, but it just died very easily, and I don't really know why, but hopefully we'll see what changes they made from the first game this year and see how they can improve upon it. Coming in at our runner-up spot for today, we have Final Fantasy XV and the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, these are both RPGs by Square Enix, and the new one, Final Fantasy XV, is just another addition to this series. It's been delayed for a while, and now we will finally be able to learn more about it this year, upcoming at E3. Now, along with this, we also have the Final Fantasy VII Remake, which should be coming out sometime soon in 2017 or 2018. Both have been very hyped up, and hopefully, we'll get some more info and more footage about it this year at E3. Before we do get to that number one spot, coming in as our honorable mentions, we have the Xbox One Scorpio and the PlayStation 4K. Now, these are not actually games, therefore, I didn't really feel I could fit them in on this list. However, they're both gaining some popularity because they're both trying to outdo each other. These are newer versions, or they're supposed to be, newer versions of the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, and they're trying to upgrade things. They're trying to fix the mistakes with the original consoles, and I believe this will turn into another console war. It should be very interesting to see the way it'll pan out. I know PlayStation VR has been going around with the virtual reality stuff. It should be very interesting to see how they incorporate everything with these two consoles, and we're definitely intrigued to see what they'll do with them this year. Finally, what you all have been waiting for at our number one spot, we have Battlefield 1, and this game has taken everybody by surprise. Although Battlefield 4 was popular, Battlefield Hardline kind of tanked, but the franchise has been around for a while, and even though that happened, this game still has received so much hype, so much more than probably the developers expected, at least from what I've seen, and it has received 1.8 million likes on YouTube, which is unheard of, especially for a game that isn't as popular as something like Call of Duty. And the World War I setting seems to appeal to a lot of the Call of Duty community. It seems to be something refreshing, and due to our aggravation with the futuristic warfare, EA and DICE have targeted at everything we've been wanting to see, and it couldn't have happened at a better time, honestly, and it really did earn its way to our our number one spot so with that being said thank you all so much for watching the video we really do appreciate all the support let us know down below in the comments what are your top five things you're looking forward to seeing this year at e3 with that being said thank you all so much for watching i will catch you all on the next one